everybody. Yeah, rock your body. Yeah, everybody, rock your body right. Bart Street's back, all right. I tried, I know. Anyway, look at the flowers in the center room. <laughs> so the game's got us running errands already. Right here in the midst of what seems to be a rather... No, I don't, actually. I already did that. Uh, flower, flowers. There's a note. Look at the stationery in the room to the right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my favorite kind of dungeon. The one where I get to follow directions blindlessly. Blindlessly. Uh, monkeys always look. That doesn't help at all. Calm down, Bart, so there's a second sheet. Check the pod. Yeah, I would have done that a lot sooner, actually, if, you, if I'd known they had some around here. Good lord. Isn't that kind of the same thing as check the flowers, though, when you really think about it? I mean, I don't know. Pod, pod, frog. I'm surprised he's not driving a car. Okay. Go eight down four right and pull at what you find there. <laughs> yeah, sure. I just go eight down and pull at what I find there, but you know, to each his own, I suppose. All right, what do we got in the treasure? Sure, again, which we'll never be able to use and size, which I believe is this game's equivalent of the mini spell. Mini me indeed. I mean, I'll not be using that though. At least I don't think. I mean, maybe I don't know. It's like one of those items where you use it and then suddenly you have the spell. There's a lever. Push it. Sure. I guess I'm a lever pusher after all. Okay, so I know I went into all this. I was like gushing and fawning about how awesome it was that this game told, you know, the side story with them and the bird and everything. But really, I think the more important reason they did that was just so this wouldn't seem so awkward when you push the button and it's like, oh, all of a sudden they're up there above us. You know, because it's convenient enough that they're right above us. But then, you know, couple that with the fact that we just pushed the switch and I don't even know if I saved there or not, but I don't care. Yeah, this place looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I'd like to see a lot more of it. And I mean a lot more. What the heck is that ship over there? What? So our ship sinks underground, we just happen across it again. And then it turns out there's another ship there. How many ships have this Crescent Island place swallowed up? Has, not have. Sit in mid, yet again. I know I mentioned something earlier about, like, we spent too much time at the ancient library. But I think I was kind of, like, psychologically, I was thinking more of sit in mid. This whole, you know, what do you even call it? This arc of the story, I guess. It does seem to go on for a little while, you know. So we've been doing a lot with these guys. It's quite a wonder they don't join the party at this point. Um, anything interesting in here? Probably not. Oh, this is amazing. What's so amazing about it? The gears turn. Sid, we'll talk later. Later? But, well, but I want to talk now! What's the matter with those squats down there? They've been on the job since Monday! Make them work nights! <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Just like that, we're... Hey! Okay. I like this. I'm not sure how the frame rate's gonna pick up those propellers, but, uh... <laughs> Probably gonna look a little strange. Oh, I'm gonna go there. What is it? It must be an airship. I read about them in an old book once. I can't believe they really exist. Well, you better believe it, pal, because we are on one right now and... Huh? Something's pulling it down. There's a monster down there! Oh, man, don't give me that monster bullcrap right now. Tail screw, what are you even talking about? Any kind of lightning elemental stuff that you have, it's probably advisable to use it. In fact, I didn't even think to put one of these on before this happened. Um, but anyway, let's just finish them off the old-fashioned way here. Because at this point, that pretty much is old-fashioned. 
Got an ice bow. Can't use it. Just like everything else in this game. We did it! Yes, we did. Yes, we did! Yeah, so let's just land again, you know, because that's what to do when you find out that you can fly through the air. You just go back to the ground because you don't like it up there. I'm tired of hearing thanks. We'll try to find out about the location of the Earth Crystal. The sky's yours. Go for it! And so for the second or third time here, the game has basically set us free. And everyone's given their own little piece of the sentence here. So what we need to do next... What other game was that where it was so credity that they did that? I oh. can't even think now. Like where two people or three people all said parts of a sentence. And it just turned out really cool. So yeah, anytime you want to now, you can basically just land back on the square and go inside. I mean, so basically, we've been set free here. So there's a couple of things we can do now. Or actually one thing in particular that I never did do. There's one more town I never explored, and it's way up there in the northwest corner. It's a bit of a flight, but man, how good it feels to finally be moving at such an insane speed. I already went too far. We're back on the south side here. Okay, right over here where this giant waterfall is, there's a town to the west of here. And, um, blah, 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 I don't remember why I wanted to come here. Oh, this history. Actually, maybe maybe I did come here already. I don't know. I've been to so many towns now, I don't remember which ones I've been to and which ones I haven't. Well, we haven't been to this one because of the music. The history falls is so beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, man. 50,000 gold, though. Yeah, well, somebody's got to pay for the music around here. I'll teach you about the rings. Fire ring absorbs flame, protects against cold, but is weak against water. Coral ring absorbs water, protects against flames, weak against thunder. Angel ring prevents the effects of zombie and aging. Everybody got that? Good! Alright, let's see here. Where else are we going here? Oh, it's sheep alright. <laughs> it does seem like a place that herds sheep would have a music like this. Huh. That doesn't sound like anybody I know, does it? What kind of spells do you got here? What kind of job do you got here? This is gonna be so stupid. Demi? I'm not sure if Demi can be, like, cast with a... Um, a Mystic Knight or not, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Well, these are time spells, so probably no. I just threw away a thousand gold for no reason there just now. Well, huh. Not the first time I've done that. It's like earlier in the LP when I used that phoenix down and I didn't need to because I just used a tent right after it. You shouldn't talk to that sheep over in the left corner. She kicks people off in. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir. Three bags full. Because apparently full rhymes with wool. What attitude? What are you doing to that? Okay, whatever. Are you the ones who are on a journey to protect the crystal? Yep. To please take use of the song that you'll never be able to use. The love song is a song about tender feelings that calms monsters' hearts. That's actually really good if you happen to have a bard, which I don't, but... Um... Basically, you cast it, or you sing it, or whatever. And it casts stop on all the monsters. Oh, something behind the waterfall. Yeah, we've never done that before, have we? Can you, like... How do I get out of here? Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Yikes, would you move? Seriously? I oh, I can't move on that square anyway. Well let's see. Oh, maybe we can just go up through here. No. Hang on a second here. Can I just jump back over the fence? I must have missed something somewhere here. This is really weird. <laughs> maybe I can jump down right here? No. Yeah, yeah, that's what you said. I can't go right there, but I can go right here. Can I go down? Uh-oh. Uh. uh Alright, seriously, dude, you're, you're blocking the way out here. Can you seriously move here? There we go. That's what it was. That's how to get that old man out of the way. Gee willikers, man. Oh, well, we do have an item shop here. I suppose we could take a quick gander, although I imagine most... Most of everything we need here, we already have. Plus, we're still not exactly 
you know, still not exactly what is the word, what is the phrase I'm looking for here. Bursting at the seams with Gil, there we go. How disappointing that that turned out to be the phrase I was trying so hard to think of. That's what I hate when that happens. Anyway, well, I suppose we could take a look at the armor here. Oh, we did that already. Excuse me. Um, huh. I saw a shield, and I thought maybe he had, like, shields or something. Well, not much else to this joint. There are a couple of blue ma- or, well, at least one blue magic spell, I believe, that I can get here. But, um, actually, I'm not- well, well, let's just see. Let's just see. Where are those random encounters when you need them? There we go. Yeah, this guy, alright. Um, not sure what he's weak against, but... Dark Shock, that's what we want. Level halved. Which is pretty... Uh... Yeah, pretty disgusting. Can be. I don't know, I've seen that spell so many times in Final Fantasy. And it never seems to affect that much. It doesn't seem like it would affect as much as... Because, like, typically, if you half somebody's level, like, logically, wouldn't that mean you also have their... or more than cut in half their max HP? It just seems, you know, and yet it doesn't do that. All it does is really affects their stats. But sometimes, even then, it doesn't seem to. But the thing is that some damage formulas are based on your level. Like, your level is part of the multiplier. So you come here in the forest, and we run into this dude... And he doesn't hesitate. I should have healed up before I did this. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. I'm guessing level 5 Doom wouldn't work. Try Arrow, too. The guy's got 3,000 HP, so, I mean, if he can last it out, maybe that's the thing to do. I can't believe I didn't use a tent before this. And I took a real quick look, and it was like, oh, well, I think I'm okay. Uh, what did I use here? Try this, whatever it is. It's better than nothing. Better than nothing at this point. I cannot believe he has not. Like, dude, seriously, he should have killed us by now. And here we are, just chipping away at him. There you go. It's about time you did something useful. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I won this fight without losing anybody? This fire's not doing anything for me here, but... It's too late now. Oh, here it goes again. I could try Deathclaw, maybe, but... I can see that as you working on an Esper, like, seriously. It just seems a little too convoluted. Besides, it should only take 10 arrow twos to take this guy out. That's not counting all the other damage I'm doing. All those other punches to the stomach that I'm delivering here. It's like about 32, 33, times 10. Oh, oops. Ah, nice dodge, Ferris. Very nice. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were wearing a close call badge. Ah, you missed. Well, shucks. Psych! Oh, psych me out, didn't you? Wait, you know what that means, though? I might not be able to cast Arrow 2 with you anymore. Oh. You didn't steal enough of my MP to prevent this. Huh, Ifrit? What are you? Ramu! You're getting better! No, you're getting worse, I think, actually. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I would've expected a lot worse than that. Anyway, we got Ramu for whatever it's worth. We don't have a summoner, so it really doesn't matter, but... We got him. Oh! <laughs> okay, and just right off the bat, another guy. Let's just run here. Ran away. Could use a tent, or I could sleep in an inn. Which would be slightly cheaper. Let's go ahead and make haste here. So now that we have the airship, there's actually like a very specific trigger we need to run over to advance the plot here. It's kind of weird, but... Well, you know, it is. It is just weird. So you want to fly over near this town here. And, well, oh man, I can see all that equipment in those armor shops just sinking into the sand, never to be used by me. That thing comes out, though. I wouldn't mind equipping that. Well, it came up and then it kind of just disappeared and took the town with it, unfortunately. 
That's really too bad. Wait. See what I mean? There's like two towns that are like at the south end of like a cavern between mountains. Anyway, so where was that Crescent Island again? Right over here? Uh oh. So I really need to look at my map right now. Okay, it's south of us. South, south. So what we do is once we've seen that, then we can go back here. That square is actually a little harder to land on than it may look. But there it is. Oh my gosh, I wish I had a dash. We should be dashing. This is urgent news. We know. We saw it through a telescope from underground. Now, trust me, they'll be doing weirder things than that from underground. The Earth Crystal is inside the flying ruins. The city was kept afloat using the crystal. They knew the crystal was about to shed, so they landed the city. Wait a minute, what? Oh, okay. Well, we must hurry. Somebody started up the machine. It can't be. How can we get that high up in the sky? Oh, well, let's take uh, another book here. It's called Adamantium. Well, that's easy enough. Let's just go grind for rat tails from pink jellies in the cave for six hours. Then maybe if they get a drop, we can trade it to some guy. Or wait, no, that's adamant armor. It's the same difference, though. So we get the armor, take it apart. There, you got adamantium. We'll get everything ready here. Fortunately, it's not as hard in this game to get it. Not as hard as you would think. In fact, it's way easier than you think, actually. So here's what we're gonna do. I wasn't paying attention to the text, but I know where it is, because I just know. Because Record Keeper, oh, I'm just kidding. Record Keeper didn't spoil everything. It spoiled a lot of stuff, but... Not necessarily everything here, so back on land. Wow, I got kinda lucky there. Just ran right into it. I think I still took the long way, though. So I don't know this map nearly as well as I know Secret of Mana. And that map, I can just basically go anywhere. It's not that hard. Well, it only takes like five seconds to fly literally around the world, so... That kind of helps, too. I mean, Secret of Evermore, even more so. Oh, these meteors have switches on them. So apparently the meteors are also... I don't know... Advanced in some way? Oh, I'm not stepping on that. <laughs> This is it! Make no mistake where you are. Remarkable memory, eh? <laughs> oh, Gallif, you're so adorable. Adamantium, that was easy. And it didn't take six hours, how about that? Oh, Goldez, is that you? Oh, jeez, here we go. Of course we're gonna have to fight for it, aren't we? They wouldn't just let you have it for free, no way. But fortunately, some things in life are free. Like this boss, for instance. Free kill. Free ABP as well, and a free turtle shell, jeez. The gift that just keeps on giving, I tell ya. Oh, there you go. So we're gonna walk this adamantium back across this massive forest here. Mm. This is a nice little area. I'd sleep here. Because nothing ever happens here, you know? All the stuff going on in the world in this place just stays the same. It's not too bad. Alright, let's see if we can do this better this time. Oh, yeah, see, it was right there. It was that close. There we go. It's hard to usually move one space like that. I can't believe they let me do that two times in a row. It's like I moved right and then I'm. or I moved left and then up or. up and then right. Got our new anti-gravity boots! Gonna pour out some more books. Oh, go rest in the bedroom. Which one? Not this one, apparently. Oh, okay, it's just gonna walk us there. Well, fine, then. Yep. That's me. That was me in the bakery, basically. Doing about 15 different things at one time. It's funny how both that and Golden Pantry is almost the exact same thing. It started out one way and then... Oh, <laughs> that was funny actually. Bart said he had a dream that the airship was finished. And then they come busting in like, hey, we're done! Or they come barging in. 
you know, it's funny. <laughs> I, bet, I bet there's people in this world that have never used the word barge in their lives other than when singing the Gaston song. Because nobody ever says that. Nobody ever says barge. At least not as a noun, that's for sure. I'd be surprised if half of anybody even knew what a barge was. Like, roughly the size of a barge! That's one of those things you learn in school, and for some reason you remember it, even though it's completely useless. Yet algebra, on the other hand, just never seems to stick. You know? Roughly the size of a barge. Seriously, man. <laughs> 